Chapter 6 was called Completing the Table with a Bang. This chapter was about elements and explosives. So there's this guy, Henry Mosley, and he discovered the relation between the wavelength of x-rays, the number of protons in an element, and the element's atomic number, which Mr. Sean Keane, the writer of the book, uh, when he's talking about this, note, that an element's atomic number is its spot on the periodic table. No offense to Mr. Keene or anything, but if you're reading this book and you've made it all the way to chapter 6, I'm pretty sure you know that an element's atomic number is its spot on the periodic table. Mosley also figured out what the atomic number is and why elements are placed where they are because of the atomic number. When Mosley published the rest of his findings, the rest of the scientific community was like, Bleh, we think you're a liar. We don't believe you because we all hate each other and we're competing. Meh. Then Mr. Keene doesn't really say that much else about Mosley after that. Instead, Mr. Keene brings up that in 1940, we still haven't discovered what element 61 is. Then, finally, in 1949, a small scientific laboratory in Tennessee figured out what element 61 was. And they were really excited, but no one else really cared. What they cared about instead was why lead 204 and lead 206 could be the same element. It's because they didn't realize that neutrons existed because they were dumb. In 1932, this guy, James Chadwick, figured out that neutrons existed. After that, scientists still didn't really care about Element 61, because they wanted to make atomic bombs. They were like, hmm, let's explore plutonium. I bet it will explode everywhere. Then they got a bunch of female scientists and mathematicians to help them, because they're wusses and couldn't do all the hard math themselves. Research would have fallen apart if it wasn't for all these lady scientists doing a bunch of hard work. Then, when we had the atomic bomb, people did stuff like blow up Hiroshima, and then the world got mad, and the scientists after that decided to go home and lay low. The world was like, hmm, you're so bad, you blew stuff up, it's time out for you. And then, scientists such as Lilo Szilard, I think that's how you say his name, well, decided to make bombs out of cobalt and gamma radiation. And they did, but cobalt you sorry. Cobalt would just explode everything and it would take the land a really long time to get better. So they decided not to build that. And then the chapter ends there. Yay!